Listen. What up, fam? Every now and then I get frustrated. When I say I get frustrated, I get frustrated with my life, y'all life, and our perceptions of life. I was talking to a brother yesterday. He said, well, at least you free. At least you did it. I said, I said, brother, I ain't free. And he said, yeah, I said, how I'm free? I said, on the way over here, if I drive five miles faster than I want to drive, I can receive punitive damages. What you mean you free? Huh? If you cook your motherfucking steak raw, you got to cook it as raw as they say it's raw. Hmm? Your food. White folks control any and every aspect of our life. They set the standard. They set the norm for everything. If you want to chop down wood with an axe, you must build your motherfucking log cabin the way they say it and register it downtown. You understand? What you mean, you free? Some of us cannot piss before 9.15. We get to work at 7, clock in, sit down in the cubicle, and the white man said, you cannot piss before 9.15. If you get hungry, you cannot eat before 9.15. If you need to take a fucking aspirin or change your fucking tampon, you better sit in this fucking desk and bleed the 9.15, nigga. What you mean, you free? Huh? We not free. They control every aspect of our lives. And the sad thing about it, we don't realize they control these fucking white folks' lives too. The only people free is that top 1% of bald-headed, fucked-up teeth, gay white men. They the only motherfuckers in this country free. I can't raise my kids the way I want to. What you mean we free? You can't pull your kid out of school without giving them a motherfucking sheet of paper that say, how you gonna educate them? The fuck you mean you free? Huh? What do we mean we free? We can't turn a fucking light on without them. Huh? We free. Ain't nobody in this country free but them. Shit got me bugging out. I got to thinking about it. Extra hard. Extra hard. I don't deal with none of them. Work for myself. I ain't no fucking free. I'm not free. Huh? Way I feel walking around the store shopping. Motherfuckers following me around. I'm free. Huh? Hurry up and buy. Ain't you free. You better wake up and live as best as you can within bondage and that entails us doing for us and it starts by educating our own children fuck you mean you free nigga what up fam i want to address something real quick with sunny this ain't to mess with nobody about their religion you believe what you want to believe but i just want to show you something christianity and white supremacy or america which is white supremacy it's kind of like one in the same Take for example, the pe same people that love them, that created America, went around killing in the name of Jesus. Killing and taking over shit in the name of Jesus. And what does white supremacy do now? Go around killing, taking shit in the name of democracy. Ain't that what they do? Ain't that what they do? White folks uh, enslave a whole country for hundreds of years and then be like, but that's over. You should forgive us. Using that Christian shit. Using that Christian shit. I can see how they could be like, Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Because they made Jesus white. I mean, think about it. I mean, down to, you can even take Christians, black Christians into it. I see black Christians all the time. Heathens, all these heathens out here, people going to hell, saying shit like, Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. Jesus, the only thing that can save you. They can say anything about anything else, but you let somebody tell them, you know, uh, Jesus was supposed to be in the grave for three days, but Friday night to Sunday morning is only like 36 hours. That's not three days. That's like a day and a half. <laughs> You killing my religion. You you talk about my religion. You disrespect me. In the same way, look at these white folks. 
after all the shit you put us through. No different than Christianity. After all the shit that the Christian religion that put us through, we still love it and still believe it. And we're still expected to love and believe it. And when somebody like me said, fuck that bullshit, I look crazy. The same way, the same shit that we went through in this country through slavery, the national anthem and all that shit about slavery in that song. They still expect us to worship it. Still expect us to stand up to it. Forgive me for what I've done to you. Forgive me, it's in the past, it won't you. It won't you. And then you say, well, okay, if you're forgiven, can we have some shit? America be like, nope, we won't give you reparations. We won't give you nothing. Christianity says, oh, this Jesus thing, Jesus let everybody in. Jesus want Jews, Muslims, Christians, Jesus want Africans, he is for everybody. But taking shit in that name, in the same way, America, democracy, we're the freedom fighters of the world. If we see somebody oppressed in another country, we can go in and spread freedom. And everybody's brainwashed under it. The same that way that we are blacks are brainwashed under Jesus, it's the same way that we're brainwashed under America. Why do you think America says in God we trust? That's the whole thing to it. It's to tie morality of God in love in America. God established America as a place with inalienable rights given from God. How come we can't see this? Same way you can't say nothing about no white person. You bring up to a white person something, they flip that shit right back on you. That same way you can't bring it up to no Christian. Do you know that you did this, you did this, and Eddie Long did this, and these Christian men did this, and these pastors did this, and they're taking money from the community and not giving back to the community, and people are starving, and kids are being molested, and women are being sick. Hey, boy. He a man of hey God. Boy. Give him. He Look got a special machine. stuff going on. It's not. God using the difference. Same way America go around and chilling, rampaging, taking opium, taking gas, taking oil, what do we say? Oh. Oh. We spread democracy and freedom. I'm over now. It's one and the same, man. And, 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 and I don't know how you separate the two. Because it would have to be a white man that was going to go around enslaving and fucking everybody over that would say some shit like, you know if you was enslaved, that mean you the chosen people. You know if you was enslaved, that mean you was the chosen people. That mean every motherfucker he didn't enslave. This argument about who are the chosen enslaved people of God. We got white people wanting to be the Jews. Germanic Jews, Ashkenazi Jews. We got Khazar. We got fucking black Hebrew Israelites, black. Everybody want to be them chosen slaves. And the white man sitting back laughing. Didn't you know we was going to enslave everyone? So you all Jews, because we've enslaved you all. And then they sitting back laughing like, <laughs> the same way they made up Israel, 1945 to back up Christianity. All of a sudden, Palestine is now a country. 1948, ooh, we a country now. Same way out of the blue. All the names in the Bible was black, ethnic names. Here come Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, James, Peter, Thomas, Philip, Andrew, Bartholomew, Solomon, all these fucking David. But the bad guy, Judas, Judas, nigga name. All the other names, Ezekiel, Ezekiah, Zebediah, Zechariah, Yeshua, Joshua, Yeshua, Obadiah. Here come this fucking white man late. I don't see how you separate the two. But believe me, it would be the white man that has a religion that said, we're going to enslave everybody and make you slaves. And you're going to argue over who the chosen slaves are. But when it's all said and done, you're not supposed to do anything to us. Dr. Clark said, imagine slave go in and say, Bob God.
then the white man that did all the beating is in his quarters wiping the blood off his dick for raping the little slave girl talking about Lord Jesus thank you for the slaves that you've given me the food the land and tread on and everything the very motherfuckers in the south that had slaves are mad because the slaves didn't want to fight to help them remain slaves. That's a goddamn Christian for you. What up fam? I want to discuss the uh, mass manipulation in religion. Not only are the people that are in charge manipulating it, it's like a plant with a seed in it. If it reproduces itself, the manipulation causes us to ma manipulate others. Now I'm going to talk to you about my own life. Let me. It's, it's going to take me a second to get you to understand this, but I'm going to teach you, so listen for a second. If somebody told you to speak Spanish and you couldn't speak Spanish, what would you do? You would sound like the Telemundo station. And you would say, oh, a lot at the end, right? Right? If someone asked you to speak German, you would you would do what you think you know is German. If somebody asked you to talk, speak Swedish, you would say, Somebody asked you to speak Italian, you would be like, Somebody asked you to... Now, get what I'm saying. So why when somebody asks you to speak tongues, you think you did something special? You just did what you what I just did for all of those languages. Listen. You're gonna hear Honda, Masata, Eshe Bebe. You're gonna hear uh Hungaroboboshai, Eshe Kirete, Oroboboboshai, Eshe Kirete, Eshe Kirete. Okay, now watch this. You see what I just did? Now I'm talking about my own life. I remember the major manipulation and the manipulation normally comes from you by close family members that's how people molest children they're close family members they trust them so the manipulation was i got baptized because my grandma told me to and then my grandma told me to speak tongues i couldn't speak tongues i didn't know what the fuck that was it sounded stupid to me i didn't feel no holy spirit no power nothing my grandma stood over top of me speak 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 you can do it you can do it and essentially whispering in my ear you're embarrassing me do it and i did what i heard them say that's what I did. No different than the speaking Spanish. Telemundo. Now, watch this, what it does. Because of that ceremony with my grandma, and I believe my grandma, not only did I fake speak tongues for her, as I went into my Christian walk, I in turn convinced somebody else to fake speak tongues for me. You want me to tell you why? Because deep down, the human mind does not want to accept, I faked and I did some fucking stupid shit on my own. Now, no different than being in church. I grew up in church. The pastor stand up, said, you praise for Duke. You praise for the Redskins. Get up and praise God. You should feel God. And I'm like, I don't feel a motherfucking thing. But contagion theory, in order not to look like a fool and look like I don't love God, I got up and did it. In turn, I convinced somebody else to do it. Now, going as far as even to what we call witnessing to people, talking to them. I've been talking to drug dealers about coming to church to, with me in the past. And in the conversation, I said, man, you know, you deal drugs, man. Anything can happen. You need the Lord to watch over you. Fully manipulate them. Motherfucker, you could get killed, shot, or locked up out here. You need the Lord. Playing on his emotions. Playing on his senses. Now, what I'm saying is, like I said, a watermelon has a seed in it and it reproduces itself. That's what we've been done. But oh, what a mighty thing for the universe to wake us up. Imagine that. Just imagine that. You know that when you did it, you faked. But then you in turn convince somebody else to do the shit. I've had women go as far as to tell me such and such, such and such. The Lord, da, da, da. He wants you to back and call me up and tell me they had a dream about me. I had a dream you was going to wreck your car. I had a dream the Lord told me, bitch, you ain't doing nothing but trying to convince me. 
And more so than anything, it don't even be about God. It be us trying to convince the next person that we are real. Man, accept the Lord. The Lord calling for you. Oh, Speak tongues for him. It's sad. And we all know it's fake. We all know it's fake. Telemundo, why we acting like that ain't a... All oh, so we can appear to be something. We are so oppressed as a people. We lack financial resources. We lack food. We can't produce. We lack so much that we will stand up in church and shout and jump around to prove to the next person that God is in me. Weak ass human.